In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how you can set up a live chat option on Shopify using the Shopify Inbox app. This is the best live chat app on Shopify right now, and it's totally free to use. And I will show you how you can set up this app on your store. Let's get started. First and foremost, we need to install the Shopify Inbox app on our store. To do that, you can simply click on the first link which is given in the video description, which will directly take you to this page. You can install the app from here, and you can also check the demo store to preview this app's features and functionalities. Next, I will click on this install button to install this app. Once it's done, you'll see a page like this. Now, we need to set up this app on our Shopify store. To do that, click on this setup chat button. This will take us to the Shopify theme editor. Here, on the left-hand side, we need to make sure that this option is enabled. This will enable the live chat option on the bottom right of this page. Next, you'll see some customization options here, which will help you change the look and feel of this store. For example, I can change the background color from here, and then I will also change the button color to blue. And now you can see that the chat option has turned red. And if you click on it, you'll see the buttons in blue color. You can also change the chat icon from here. For now, I will use the hand wave icon. Next, we can also change the label. So, I will select a different label. We can also change the position of this chat option using these options. And last but not least, we have the greetings message here. You can add your own greetings here. And when a customer will open the chat box, they'll see this greeting message. And then make sure to save all the changes by hitting this save button. All right, now I will close this tab and come back to the store dashboard. I will refresh this page to check if everything is updated successfully. Here, you can see that the app is active now. You can also click here to get the Shopify Inbox mobile app, which will allow you to manage the customers directly from your mobile phone. Next, on the left-hand side, you'll see these chat settings. Here's where you can create some instant answers to your customers' most common questions. It's basically the same as adding an FAQ section. The only difference is that it is available in the chat box. Here, you can see some suggestions from Shopify. When you click on it, you'll see that Shopify has used their magic AI to create these instant questions and answers. You can change or edit these in info, and then on the right sidebar, you can preview how your customers are going to see these questions and answers. Make sure to save your changes by hitting this Save button at the top, and then also make sure to turn on this option so that the question will be added in the chat box. I will also add this question regarding the return policy. It seems like Shopify has gathered these information from our store policy pages, which is really amazing in my experience. Okay, I will save this question as well, and you can see that this question is also added in the chat box. You can also create more instant questions and answers from here, and then follow the steps that I showed you earlier. Once it's done, you can also rearrange these questions as per your preferences. Next, when you scroll down, you'll see this pre-chat form. If you enable this option, you'll be able to gather your customers' data, such as their name and email, even before making a conversation with them. Next, on the left-hand side, you'll see this quick replies option. This is where you can prepare some answers to your customers' questions. You can see that we already have four quick replies here. And if you want to add more, you can simply click on this Create Quick Reply button. Next, you need to add a shortcut title here. The title should be of at least three words, and you can't give spaces in between. And then, you can also add a prepared customer response here. And then make sure to save the changes. Next, I also recommend that you go through these four responses and make changes to them if needed. These are pre-generated responses, so make sure to check them if they are appropriate to your brand. Lastly, we need to set up the available hours, so click here on the left side, and then you can enter your daily availability time here. Simply click on this, and then select a time from the dropdown. And select the time for every day. You can also go to More Actions Options here, and select the option that fits with your needs. And then I will also enable this automated first reply option which will send an automated reply to our customers based on our availability. You can also click on these responses and customize it if you want to, but for now, I will leave it as it is. And then I will hit the Save button. And with this step, our entire setup is complete. Now we only need to test the live chat system and see if everything is working fine or not.
To show you how it actually works, I will go to my online store. This is the online store that we created recently. Next, I will go to the chat box here. First up, we have the instant answers here. If I click on any of these questions, I will instantly get the answer to the question. I will go back and then try this with the other questions. All right, the instant answers are working absolutely fine. Next, I will simply type a question here as a customer. And you can see that as soon as I did that, I got this pop-up here, asking me to enter my name and email. To continue further, the customer need to enter these details. So, I will quickly enter these details and then click on this Start Chat button. All right, as soon as I did that, my question was sent to the chat box. And you can see that I've got an automated message that someone will contact us to assist me. All right, up until this point, everything seems to be working fine. Now I'll show you the admin panel and how you can respond to your customers. So I will go back to the dashboard now and then refresh this page. Here, you can see that it is showing an unread message here. So I will click on this View Messages button. This is where you'll be able to view all of your customers' messages. Here, you can see the message that I sent as a customer. And now, I will respond to the question as an admin. I am asking the customer to provide the screenshot of the error they are facing. Next, I will go to the store where I am interacting as the customer. And you can see that I've instantly got the message. I will respond to the question again, which will instantly get to the support team. And just like this, the conversation will move forward. Next, if you are managing customer support, you can use this option to access all the quick replies. Simply select the message you want to send to your customers. You can even customize it and then send it to your customers. Next, if you are running an offer or discount, then you can use this option to send the discount codes directly to your customers. You can even attach some products on your replies using this option. Lastly, you can send a photo or video to your customer to solve their problems. Next, on the top bar, you'll see these options. By using these options, you can close the conversation, assign staffs to manage the customers, or even block the spam messages. For now, I will simply close this conversation. You can access these conversations from the Close tab if you want to. And you'll also be able to filter out conversation using these options. Lastly, we have the settings here. Here, you need to go to Notifications and set the notifications trigger based on your needs. That way, you'll be notified whenever a customer will ask any questions using the live chat option. And that's basically everything you need to learn about Shopify Inbox. Shopify Inbox is a completely free to use app. Right now, it has over 5,000 reviews with an average rating of 4.8. So make sure to use it in your store. I've also created a video recently where I mentioned the top seven best Shopify apps. That'll help you get more sales and boost the overall conversion of your store. Click here to watch the full video, and I will see you there.